Sweet escape, keeper of my dream, builder of my home. Last week we sailed around the beautiful island of Zanti, and after a small ship fight of trying to leave the country, we were finally able to commence our 300 nautical mile passage to Malta. Tended to my garden. The first corner we turned on our passage to Malta was absolute torture for Jackson. He had been looking for a place to go kite surfing all the way through the Med for the last two months and he found it just as we were leaving. Say ooh. Well, we're not very far into the trip at all and I'm already in despair. Almost, almost just cried, genuinely. But my man helped me hold it together. This wobbly kitchen thing, blooming out. I've had beetroot all over my kitchen. Just really hard work. And beetroot went all over the upholstery and the table, but that was pretty easy work. I just saw like 10 flying fish. You saw 10 flying fish? Yeah. We know we're at sea when we've seen flying fish. And how fast are we going, Captain? Six and a half. Can't complain with that. We got so swept up in the day and so swept up in the panic of the thought of maybe not being able to leave here and I forgot to make a grab and go snack so I've had to make it on the move. The whole point of this is if the weather does get hairy and cooking becomes dangerous, we've got a pie. A veggie and cheese pie we can just cut up and grab so we've got about four meals out of that if we need and then I've got so many snacks like we can you can just make a peanut butter sandwich or a cheese and ham sandwich whatever you want so and it's not enough no it's not enough with three days at sea ahead of us we settled nicely into ocean life done so well, we've sailed 250 miles so far and we've only got 80 miles to go and we're starting to go back into the other end of the busy shipping channel. As you can see this guy is coming quite close. We've sort of been on a collision course the last three hours. But yeah, exciting to finally be this close to land. The lack of sleep is really killing me. Yeah. It's kind of giving me a really bad headache and I think that's sort of leading to seasickness. Like, the great thing is we're going to wake up in Malta tomorrow. You will wake up to the smell of land. What's the matter, Captain? So I was just a bit concerned about how much the boom was like rocking side to side. And I came out to check the gooseneck. When they replace the gooseneck, I think they they put one in there that's too small, so it moves around quite a bit. And that movement, because I was just walking around the deck having a look at things, and I found these two rivets on the ground. Oh no! I was like, I wonder where they've come from. Oh my from. god! Oh my god! So I'll have to fix that. Well up. I'm glad I took the sail down about half an hour ago. Yeah. Alright people. This is the last slog. My last watch in the dark before we get to Malta. Very happy about that. You have no idea. I've got a lot of friends around me right now, so need to stay on the ball. So this is 
this guy should pass behind me. Right, Sue. He's about four miles away. Maybe three. And he's going to come pretty close. So. And we can see who he is. So he is going 12 and a half knots. And he is a tanker. So he is a big boy. broken again for the entire passage we freshened up with a bucket shower and headed for land to meet up with my parents hello How are you? Because you're a hero, mate. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. You made it. We've well, made it this far. It's a one-way system. How are you, mate? Oh, you too. Oh, fuck, I thought you were Yeah, you got to walk on that road. Are you afraid of walking down the... Yes. A little plank? Well, we're really, we're really embarrassed because you called... Um, and we, we thought we'd get a bit of warning, uh -huh. and um, okay. the boat's like torn apart. It's fine, uh, but the good news is Jackson's just fixed the water pump. Yep. And he's just fixed the fridge. Just yes. go on, Maria. Oh, mum. <laughs> right, so skip down there. <laughs> just, just very confidently. Maria, <laughs> Maria the mountain goat. You can do it. Oh, I sorry. I feel sick. Maria the mountain oh. goat. Come on, bud. I feel a bit sick. <laughs> Dangle a bit of. No, oh, stop it, cake, yeah. Food. Well, I'll hold this end down so it can't fall off. I'm back down, I'm not going to push it down. <laughs> if you trust yourself, it'll work. Yay, Yay Maria the Mountain oh, Goat. Facing fear. <laughs> I'm going to carry your handbag now. Don't stand on the end, it'll tip up. Just stand in the middle. <laughs> I am standing in the middle. Do you want me to say the handbag? Yes, I'll do the handbag. Thank you. When are you going to get a wider plank? I'll walk the stone back. Have you got a new there? We came to pick up mum and dad in the morning to take them on their first sailing trip on Avalon, where our first obstacle was a very angry man. Now, mum and dad had quite the introduction to sailing. We had about 25 knots of breeze and rather a large amount of swell. Pray, pray that there's more. They appeared to be quite natural seafarers. And despite us only being able to use the jib due to the fact that our boom was broken, dad got very into this sailing experience. Despite the crazy conditions in the open ocean, we managed to find a really gentle sheltered anchorage in which to spend the day at. Myself and Jackson checked on the anchor Much too hard. and went off to explore St. Peter's Pool which was just round the corner from our anchorage. You're out 
till midnight You can stand up tall Hide from the limelight It makes no sense at all They told you to stay in school So instead you just play the fool I think I'll be the judge of that, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, the score will not be released. We might have taken advantage of the kind-hearted nature of my mum and dad. And how much luggage did you bring? That much. <laughs> 25 kilos worth of luggage. <laughs> it was all our crap that we'd ordered off Amazon. All of which were curiously bomb-shaped. <laughs> had to manufacture a special hoist for your solar panels in order to carry them Dad, the Dad put his, his surfboard carrying sling over our solar panels and it made it made quite a good suitcase oh, situation. Of that as well. But the good news is we've got our new water purifier in. We do, and it means that we can make tea and coffee that doesn't yeah. taste is that disgusting. What we brought? Is that the, the thing that thing was shaped brought? like a... Bomb. The bomb-shaped bomb thing, like yes. The funniest thing about the, the bomb-shaped items was I called mum and dad just as they were boarding the plane. So they were in the airport standing in the queue for the plane and then dad says at the top, at the top of his voice, at the top of his voice, I've got all your bomb-making equipment in my bag. <laughs> and I was fully thinking that mum and dad weren't actually going to make it to Malta at this point. Just, but you can't yeah. take him anywhere. I've got nothing to declare but the crack in my arse. We went to St. Peter's Pool yesterday and we saw the most amazing thing. A Jack Russell and his owner were standing by the cliff and the owner was clearly ready to jump and the Jack Russell was just standing next to him. And then you could kind of see the Jack Russell preparing to jump and we were like, no way, no way, he's actually gonna jump, he's gonna jump. And they did, they jumped together. And um, we couldn't stop thinking about it all day and um, we were like, this dog must be famous. So we googled him and he is world famous. His name's Titty the Diving Dog. Look, he's all over YouTube. You should look him up. Yeah. It, the funniest thing was, like it's quite high up and I was wigging out so much. It, it took me a little while to pluck up the courage to jump off it. And then Jack Russell just bloody storms, storms in front of me and jumps off the cliff. So I felt like a bit of a wally. Today, um, we are, well, the original plan was to go on a little overnight trip with mum and dad and they were going to sleep on the boat. But mum isn't that crash hot on the idea of sleeping on a hot sweaty boat when she's got the option of a nice air conditioned hotel so we're gonna have a little bit of a land day which will be really weird for me and jackson i think <laughs> won't it babe mm, i'm looking forward to it yeah we are looking forward to using our legs dad on the other hand was frothing yesterday and you know he was asking jackson loads of questions kept asking you know can i drive and he's just really, he's got the bug already and um, we didn't even have the mail, main sail up and the news that is tied on to the end of that is he's actually might be doing the Atlantic crossing with us he's just said yes this morning <laughs> Put on some shoes for the first time in a while, loaded the selfie stick and headed to the former capital of the island, Ndina. Ndina is a walled city with a population of 300 people and it's famous for its glass. We snuck into a walking tour which actually turned out to be a Game of Thrones tour. Turns out most of Game of Thrones was filmed in Ndina. Fun fact, in order to conceal this cable in Game of Thrones, they disguised it as a remarkably high up washing line. Just down the road from Medina, there were St. Paul's Catacombs. 
This featured an endless array of tombs that once housed corpses. Who's new captain? I just thought I'd make a bit more mess. <laughs> oh yes. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> I've installed Xanthi's new electronic equipment because, oh my god, if I have to hear my laptop's not charged, what do I do? <laughs> Again, here it is the newest installation on Avalon is our inverter. Oh, there she is. So that means. We can also power the fan. <laughs> so maybe the mosquito that is obsessed with me, that's been following us around for two months, might just do one. After the fleeting visit from my parents, we were back into boat work full throttle. our way out of Malta to make our crossing to Sardinia, we made a stop off at a very special place. Bobbing along up Shit Creek without a paddle, so to speak. Wow! What the hell is that? 